SMMA is slowly dying. And I hate to say this, but if you approach SMMA with the same BS advice taught by all the YouTube gurus on the internet, you will fail. But the good news, there's still hope. I've been in the game now for over seven years, making me pretty much a retired old man at this point. And I've seen everything that there needs to be seen around SMMA and all of the trends. And over that time, not only have I scaled my agency to multiple seven figures, I've also helped 114 agency owners scale to $100,000 per month. So why were we able to get our clients the best results when most people out there were struggling? There's a subsection of smart agency owners that are implementing a new way to make money with SMMA. And I know this because every single day in our private group, I see agency owners hitting 10K a month, 20K a month, and even $100,000 per month. And in the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna reveal exactly what they're doing to stand out in the red ocean of SMMA and scale from scratch all the way to the seven figure run rate. Sit back, take some notes, and let's dive in. This is really powerful stuff. This is like, I'm teaching you guys principles of marketing, okay? The more sophisticated your niche, the newer the offer and the crazier the offer needs to be. So let me ask you guys, do you guys think that chiropractors is, do you guys, does everyone know what I mean by sophisticated? Here's another way to put it, how saturated it is, how, yeah, that's, Maybe that's an easier way to for you guys to visualize it. So the more saturated your niche, so like let's say we're going after chiropractors, you're going to have to do something really new or really crazy, right? Really new or really crazy. So like you got Nathan, he's doing the paper patient. That's pretty crazy. You could also be like, I'm the first short form viral content agency for chiropractors. That's new. The less saturated your niche, the more basic your offer can be and the more basic your guarantee slash promises need to be. So if you guys are the first company ever to work with like first marketing agency to work with trucking companies, you could literally offer them Facebook ads without a guarantee. And they're going to be like, Oh, I haven't tried that. That sounds awesome. You want to ask yourself what's going to give prospects this, this kind of like reaction of like, Oh my God, I've never tried that before. It sounds awesome. What is something that you could like, what could your service or offer be where they go? Oh my God, that's crazy. I'm, I would, I've never tried that. That sounds great. The more saturated your niche, the more you're going to have to do crazier things or newer things to get that reaction. Right? So like if you're going after dentists, They've already tried Facebook ads. They've already tried Google ads. They've all tried, tried SEO. For you to come out and be like, hey, we'll do SEO, no guarantee. You have to wait 12 months to see results. You're going to be like, eh, no thanks. Whereas if you're like, hey, we're the first AI agency for dentists, you're going to be like, oh, tell me more. I might not buy, but I'm, you've got my attention. Sounds interesting. Whoa. So it's like, you guys have to ask yourselves, what is going to get a prospect to be like, Whoa, sounds interesting. Tell me more. Now, I know this is a very big pivot on the initial question, so I will tie it back in. But I want to teach you guys, if you're offering short form content in a niche where no one else is doing it, you don't need to have a crazy offer. <laughs> you're already doing something new. So if you're like, hey, we help lawyers go viral with short form content, that could literally be your offer. It could be like, never pay for ads again. Never get low quality leads again. Never rely on an agency that sucks and uses outdated dated tactics. We have a new way to help you get a ton of cases with our lawyers go viral system where we uh, script out all of your content, fly out for one day out of the month, record everything step by step and post one viral reel every single day. And the best part, you only have to show up and film for four hours per month. Plus, we will help the brand new strategy that no one is doing, so it's completely untapped. This is a very rough draft, guys. Don't use this exact copy, but you get the point. Like, I don't even need a guarantee where I, when I have something so new, right? When I have something so new that they're like, oh my God, I haven't seen this. I don't need to have a crazy offer. For example, if you take your short form content agency and you go to me, you're like, Joel, I could help you go viral. I'd be like, eh, because if you go into the personal branding niche, that's saturated and you're not offering something new. So then you're going to have to come up with an offer. You have to, you're going to have to be like, Joel, I'll guarantee you 5 million views and you don't have to film anything. I'll take your videos and I'll repurpose them. Because again, you're going into a saturated niche with not a new offer. So you're going to have to come up with something crazier. But if you're going into a niche that's never seen that offer, you don't need to do something crazy. So you're saying for like lawyers and doctors, it's still not as It's saturated. still new. 
Yeah. So like, let me pull this up. Give you guys an example. Guys, did that make sense? Because I know that was essentially the more saturated the niche, you're either going to have to do something new or make a crazier offer. If you go into an unsaturated niche, you, you don't have to worry about that as much. Most of you guys are in saturated niches and that's not a bad thing. Uh, but then you have, you can ask yourself, like, do I really need to guarantee results when I'm the first, I'm the helping lawyers go viral guy? Maybe not. If you're the only one that does it, you don't need to. Like back when we started Atlas Digital, we didn't need to have crazy guarantees. Like, and then when I came out with it, all I had to do was guarantee 50 leads in 30 days. That was easy peasy. It was new. That was crazy. And then what's happened now is it's gotten so crazy that it's much easier to compete by just being new, coming up with a unique angle, even if it's just a unique angle on your foot in the door service, just a way to get in the door. As long as the way that you get in the door is new, you can even still sell them Facebook ads. So if, if you're like, hey, I'm going to help you build AI systems for your law practice, that's new. Cool. Now that you're in, let's run ads for you. So hopefully that gives you guys a good mental framework. And let me actually show you guys an example. One second. This was our highest performing ad in the real estate niche of all time. Become a TikTok celebrity realtor. Want to become a celebrity realtor and be known by everyone in your area? Too many realtors are using the exact same marketing practices that simply no longer work. Traditional forms of marketing like ads in bus stops, newspapers, billboards, flyers. And by the way, you could even update this to like, you've been burned by Facebook ad agencies, low quality leads, blah, blah, blah. Like this is an old ad. So you guys can even update it for traditional forms of marketing that they've tried and didn't work. All of this isn't going to cut it anymore. Using my new blue ocean strategy, you can go from being a nobody to a celebrity TikTok agent in just 90 days. By effectively leveraging your online personal brand, you'll have tons of inbound clients looking for you to sell their home and endless appointments, enabling you to hit record sales months. Want to learn the secret to becoming a TikTok celebrity realtor? Click below to learn more. So like you see, there's no crazy offer because you're going into a niche with a new service that they haven't seen. So you could literally rip this for lawyers, doctors, so on and so forth. That's what I would do if I was you. And I wouldn't come up with a guarantee. I'd just be like, I'll make you a celebrity doctor. And um, I would offer short form. And by the way, here's another hack. I shared it with another student. So I'm going to share it with you guys. If anyone is in the short form game and doing kind of like a celebrity offer, you can also partner with PR companies and white label their services and get them featured on like Forbes, Entrepreneur, Inc., even local news stations. So you could like tell a doctor, hey, for 25 grand, I'll get you short form content. I'll get you featured on Forbes Inc. Entrepreneur and I'll get you on local news stations. And literally now, on, even on just on your website, on your social media, you're going to be seen as the go-to surgeon, the go-to doctor in your area. That right there is worth 25,000. But if you tell that same doctor, hey, here's some Facebook ads, you're going to be like, dude, I've already tried this. I've been burned. What makes you guys different? What about low quality leads? And you're going to have to either be the best where you can show so much social proof, so much results so that they overcome their fear of working with you and getting burned. Or you're going to have to have something new, right? It's like, oh, it's not just Facebook ads. This is why we make it work. We use AI, right? So that's that's my offer for uh, short form content. I think like I would go into a niche that has money that hasn't been pitched short form content. And I would pitch them on this idea of becoming a viral celebrity, becoming the authority. And what I would actually do, Josh, is I would, again, I would maybe find a PR agency to partner with and say, not only are we going to make you a TikTok celebrity, like this is how I would beat this offer and, and make a better offer without having a guarantee. I would say, not only are we going to make you a social media celebrity on Instagram, TikTok, et cetera, by helping you go viral on, with social media, we're also going to get you featured on Forbes, Inc., Entrepreneur, and some of the top publications in the world. Plus, we're going to get fe you uh, featured on local news stations so that you can go live on NBC, ABC, Fox, blah, blah, blah. So if you're a lawyer that wants to become a celebrity attorney, click below to learn more. That right there, you could the value is 25 grand, which I know is a lot for you, for, for you guys maybe to like even see other people paying it. But the thing is, it's not Facebook ads. So... Do you know I'll give you guys, this is a really good framework. I know who has the plug. Nathan Bentley has the plug. So I would hit him up. Let me teach you guys this other framework. This is really powerful stuff. Taking action and growing your business. Always start by doing more and being better than adding new. So when you guys are like, how do I scale? How do I scale? How do I scale? I'd be like, first, do more, be better. And then be like, okay, cool. Now that I've figured out how to max this out, then I'm going to add new. When it comes to how to position yourself in the market, how to position yourself to stand out in a crowded marketplace, you want to actually flip it. You want to be new, then figure out how to 
do more and be better because here's a rule for marketing. It always, it's always better to be the first in a category, always better to be first in a category. That's in marketing. You never want to be second, third, fourth, fifth in a category. You want to be first. You always want to be first. And the only way to do that is by having a new angle, a new twist. Even if it's as simple as saying, Hey, we offer AI solutions to lawyers. And that's just like on the front end, but then you still offer ads on the back end, you're still having a new angle to get your foot in the door because it's always better to be first. If you can say, Hey, we are the first agency to do blank. For example, with Atlas Digital, I was the first agency to offer patients that prepay and show up. I was the first agency to offer guaranteed results. I was the first agency to get high ticket cash spinal decompression patients. I was the first agency to offer a paper show model. All of these things allowed me to compete in a crowded space. You know, someone asked me the other day, hey, Joel, is SMA, is agency more crowded now than it was before? And I know this sounds crazy, but the answer is actually no. When I started out, I had at least five to 10 people I personally knew in the Cairo niche that ran million dollar agencies, personally knew. So it's like, and if I think about now, who are the five to 10 that I know in the Cairo niche that are doing a million dollars? It's kind of, there's not that many more. Maybe there's like a little bit more, but it's pretty much the same. But what you notice is like, how does Hermosi win? How does even Sam Ovens, how do all these people win? They figure out how to be first in their category when it comes to their marketing. Hermosi was the first. So for example, let me ask you guys a question. How many books are there on how to generate leads on with marketing? How many books are there on prospecting on Amazon? How many are there? Hundreds, hundreds. How did Hermosi become the first in his category around a book talking about leads? He was the first person to say $100 million leads. I'm the first person who actually got to 100 million teaching how to generate leads. You see the difference there? He became first in his category. Well, I'm the first person. I became the first person on YouTube that not only taught you the agency game, but gave it all away for free. People were already teaching agency, but I became the first in this category to give it away for free. This is kind of a tricky thing because when you're growing your business, you don't want to add new. You don't want to have shiny object syndrome. You guys don't want to have shiny object syndrome, but you want to give shiny object syndrome to your prospects. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. You guys want to give shiny object syndrome to your prospects. That's a great, you, but when you're growing your business, it's like focus. How do we, I do more and be better? But when I'm doing my marketing, how do I create a shiny object for them? If you actually study, how did all these people succeed? Like, yes, can you focus on the fundamentals, getting clients great results, but getting really good at sales, getting really good at marketing, for sure. The fundamentals always are important. But you know how when we talk about ads, we always say like, if you make a better offer, the creative is easier. The copy is easier. Everything else is easier if your offer is great or if what, what you're offering, and it doesn't have to be a guarantee, just what you're saying on the ad, hey, this is what you're going to get. If that's so strong, everything else is easier. You don't have, if people really want what you've got to offer, you don't have to be that good at sales. So then what ends up happening is one of the biggest levers you guys can pull to really drive growth and make everything else easier is figure out how to position your agencies as new. And again, if you're in a sophisticated market that's saturated, you're going to have to do that more. Now, if you're working with architects and they have never been pitched TikTok ads, you can do that. Let You don't have to be as crazy and new. They haven't seen it all yet. They're not as evolved. Most of you guys here have pretty much heard of most marketing strategies. So like if someone was trying to pitch you guys, it'd have to be something really good, really new. Or again, they would have to be the best of the best of the best, which is why you guys are here, right? So it's like, this is another framework for you guys. The only other way to overcome all this and make none of this matter is by having such a strong brand. People just want to work with you for you, not what you offer. If you build such a strong brand, people work with you for you, not based on what you offer. The problem is that that takes years. Even not, And I'm not talking about personal brand, just even your agency brand, having hundreds of clients, hundreds of success stories, hundreds of testimonials. It's not going to just happen overnight where people are like, yo, I just want to work with you for you. I don't care about your offer. I don't care about this. I just want to work with your agency because I know you're the best. To recap, when you guys are taking action, growing your business, always start by doing more and being better than adding new. Don't, don't have shiny object syndrome on yourselves. But when you're marketing yourselves, you have to ask yourself, like, how do I position myself in a way that I stand out even in the most crowded market? place. You know, a lot of people are like, Joel, you blew up on social media and, and you guys can see it. Like last year was the first year I really blew up. I'm telling you the one line that made me blow up was I'm on a mission to destroy all the gurus on the internet by giving everything away for free. That was new. That was new. That's why I blew up. 
that's it. There, obviously, I delivered on that promise for sure. But it's also like no one had heard that. So it was a new positioning. Are you guys liking this this stuff? It's definitely more advanced than just like how to get a client. But this is probably one of the most important and powerful levers for you guys to pull because you guys are all running a sat in you're in a saturated business model, which is actually a blessing because there's money. That's why you guys pick this model. But now that the hard part is figuring out like the reason why I love the agency niche is because you're removing the the variable of does it work? And now it's really just up to you. The hard part though, is that there's so much competition. So all you have to do is figure out this. What is your angle? 